funny, this is the South Passage Bar. And it's one of those bars that in a boat you really hope that it's flat because the last thing you want when you're in your boat is to be charging through waves and having to take on swell. But when you're on a ski, <laughs> you kind of want there to be a bit of swell because it's a lot of fun. Um, as you can see today, there ain't no swell. But that's good. It means safe crossings and that's always a good thing. There's something a lot of people don't know about in this bar. This is the South Passage Bar right in the middle and right underneath me is a thing called the Rufus King. And it's a uh, merchant timber ship that sunk back um, back in some time long, long in a galaxy far, far away. I've got no idea. It was ages ago. Um, and it holds a lot of fish, so I always like to come and check it out. It's, um, it's a great snorkel, but today's a bit dirty, so I don't know if the tide's just starting to change now, so I'm probably going to miss my fishing opportunity. But it's always lovely to come out, and it's always awesome to come and check this out, because uh, I've seen everything here from wahoo, kingfish, snapper, everything. Everything lives here at the right tide at the right time. Um, but ideally you want to be here when the water, when the viz is, the viz is really good, and the viz is, the viz is pretty shit at the moment, so yeah, not, not overly excited about going in and having a look. I might jump in and have a look, but... um. I can see that it's uh, it's pretty dirty and it's just going to get worse as this tide changes but um, it's a beautiful day and there is a small chance I might find something, who knows, you never know unless you We are at uh, the mighty Shag Rock, one of my favourite little places. I love coming out here and checking out the uh, the water, the colours. Look at this below. They call it Shag because uh, you can see all the birds over there on the rock. They're all called Shags. And if you could smell this, you'd know what I'm talking about. Not sure if the camera's picking up the colours here, but this place is absolutely beautiful. This is one of my favourite snorkeling spots. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, there's some good fish around here at the moment. Nothing biting, it's the change of the tide. Kind of shuts everything down, but um, yeah, it's still a beautiful place. It's where I love to spend a lot of time. And one day I'll remember to bring my um, my DJI gear and I'll be able to take you down and show you what's down there because there's some beautiful stuff here. A really nice snorkel, I re highly recommend it. You can actually swim here off the main beach. It's only a couple of K if you're a good swimmer. Uh, take your, snor your uh, snorkel and your fins and it's actually a really easy, it's a really easy swim. Just over, over there. And that there where the wave just broke is a ledge. And that ledge has all sorts of cool stuff along it. And underneath me here is a nice ledge as well. So much cool stuff around here. Can you see that? How cool is that? Like there's all these fish and they're all blue, but there's this one that's yellow and he really stands out. Problem is I'm in a really dangerous spot here. Wow, what a cool fish. Check this out, I'll see if I can get him again. I don't know if you can see him on the uh, phone. I'm, I'm just, I only bought the phone today, so I don't really have anything to video, but I'll flip it around and he's right just down here in front of me. He's a yellow version of every other fish. So cool. There he is, can you see him? 
Man, these are the days when I wish I had my underwater gear. I'm going to jump in with him, but um, far out. That is a cool looking fish. Look at that. A yellow one. <laughs> wow, that's so cool, man. You don't see yellow ones. Well, there are. They're hybrids. They're just a random, a random unusual fish. But um, yeah, what a... Sh yeah, what a cool fish. This is shag rock that I, this is a flat rock that I'm at now. I'm now at flat rock. And uh, there's some boat over there and he's got all of his drones out and stuff. So he's obviously checking people out. Here's that fish, check him out. I don't know if you can see him very well, but he's awesome. Anyway, I'm gonna move because I'm gonna get swamped here. What a school of fish that is. Right in, right in front of me is a massive school of probably four or five kilo trevally, like big ones. I've so got to come out here with my um, with my new DJI if I can buy it. So many cool fish out here. This is such a fishing haven. I really wish I could jump in the water and show you what's down there. It's awesome. But at the moment I'm watching a ton of birds working and I want to catch a fish. Over here. This, look at this thing. It looks like a bloody, looks like some warship. Who knows what it is? So as a would-be fisherman, what we're looking for are the current lines and the current lines meeting, ideally, some kind of bait. Whoa! And then if that all meets together, what you want to see is birds working and bait fish. And normally under bait fish is big fish. So I'll show you the current line that I'm looking for. And the current line here at the moment there's been a whole heap of coral spawning so there's coral spawn there's lines of coral spawn and when there's lines of coral spawn obviously it brings in the small fish and the small fish bring in the big fish and the big fish bring in the peat fish the likelihood of me landing this is almost zero i've got no idea what it is but it's massive <laughs> and it doesn't even know it's hooked i'm fishing about six or seven kilos of drag on this thing and I am making no difference to it whatsoever. It's like I've snagged the bottom, but I was up on the surface, so I know it's not the bottom. It just feels like it. <laughs> okay, we're four minutes in. Let's see what happens. Okay. Let's look at these spawn lines and let's look for the birds, see if we can find something. Here we go. Don't tell anyone, but that's Point Lookout. This is a very secret spot. No fisherman's ever seen it or heard of it. But there's a little bit of fish action right now. Let's have a look. I love this shit. <laughs> yep, there's a few fish about and um, a few birds. It's a shame I'm uh, actually in a green zone here. You're not allowed to fish here and you can see why. It brings in all the fish. And that's a cool thing because it keeps everything sustainable well as good as it can be. When I look up here and I see this thing behind me, what on earth is that boat? What a beauty. Yeah, no idea what that is, but it's a big boat. <laughs> a bit bigger than mine. Boat. Boat.
outgoing tides, if you've got the choice, never come back in on them. Not fun. <laughs> yes, it is. Always fun.